What's going on guys? Ebibs here, Mr. Remote Life. So I got a good one for you today. We're gonna be talking about motion sensors. So if you wanna learn more about it, stay tuned, come along. All right guys, you seen the thumbnail, you seen what's going on, you seen that intro. We are talking about motion sensors today. So basically what you saw was basically my office entrance or office motion in the morning so a lot of times i'm walking around the house four o'clock in the morning and you don't want to be yelling out alexa do x y and z because it's four in the morning you don't wake everyone up so that's really what i use a lot of motion sensors for in my house so what we're going to be doing is we're going to basically be adding a new one to uh to my home and my system because this little bad boy right here Although tried and true, you can't get them anywhere anymore. Uh, this is an old legacy Iris motion sensor that I picked up at Lowe's way back, a couple years back, uh, when I first got started doing little smart home things around the house or whatever. So what I have found is this little puppy right here, it's a little bit bigger, but it for it's cheap. So it's, it still does the same protocols. It does a Zigbee protocol and uh, I've already taken the liberty of adding it to the Hubitat. So it's already added to our system. But what we have here is we got the little, uh, you see it right here on the floor. We got the little, um, same Cree light bulb, same Zigbee joint. Uh, we're gonna keep working with that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna basically emulate what what happens is, okay, so sidebar, sidetrack. Little man just turned six. He's very energetic but he has um, moments at night, mainly during the morning, where it's before I'm up, before mommy's up, he likes to get up and just run around in the house, turn all lights on. And I hate that because it just burning electricity and I don't, excuse me, I don't like waking up with a bunch of lights on in the house. It's just kind of weird. Um, but I also want to know, I want to try to kind of track his sleeping habits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting in this motion sensor in his room so I get an alert. <clears throat> Jesus. Excuse me, guys. So I get an alert every time he gets up and uh, in the middle of the night. And I want to see what we can do about it and just, just help him out. But I also want one of his lamps or whatever smart device in his room to come on but not be blinding. And that's one of the great things about it. You can set your... Um, your lights to come on at a certain temperature if the if the bulb is enables it but for a lot of these like these creep bulbs they only come on so you can set it to brightness you can't really change the temperature on them um so i know he has he has a creep bulb in his room so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it to a low setting so it just it gives him some light and he doesn't feel the need to just go over and turn all the lights on like in the hallway and, and stuff like that so let's get it let's go in let's get it going so about this, uh, this motion sensor. I picked it up on um, Amazon. Link's gonna be in the description below. Uh, if you wanna grab it, you can. It's an affiliate link. I wanna go ahead and put it out there. Um, and it's just something that is no extra cost to you, but it does help support the channel if enough of you guys buy it. If not, I, I don't see anything from it. But um, they are pretty inexpensive uh, for what they do. So. You can program these things like around the home to where, whereas I wouldn't really put them outside because it, it seems a little sensitive just from waving it around. You can, I don't know if you can, the camera can catch it, but yeah, you see that flash. It's pretty sensitive, so I wouldn't put it outside to where, okay, if someone's creeping around outside your home, um, you got one of these going off because I, I, I feel like you would get a lot of false positives. So like insects or whatever would really set this thing off and then you just be, you end up turning the alerts off. So it, it basically does not, it's not beneficial for you. So um, what we wanna do is we wanna stick to keeping this thing indoors. It actually says on, in the instructions. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So um, programming this thing, it's kind of funny. The instructions are broken English. So just, here's how you program it. It's gonna come with a little yellow tab and it comes with a little SIM card remover tool. 
but they also call it a programming tool or whatever. It's not that. So it has, it comes with SIM card remover tool, a little extra three volt battery, and it comes with a battery install and it has a little yellow tab. Don't try to yank the yellow tab out. It's gonna make this little door, battery door fly off somewhere and the battery's gonna pop out. Take the battery door off, take the battery out, and then remove it because if you try to just do all that, you're just gonna be frustrated. Anyway, once it comes on, it's gonna flash red for like 10 seconds. Just set it down, let it flash red. It's called warming up. That's what it says in the instructions, is warming up. You can't join it to anything. As soon as you're ready, as soon as it's done warming up, uh, it'll stop flashing red and then it'll just sit there. So at that point, get your hub ready, hit the discover devices, take your little SIM remover tool, there's a little, there's a small little, little hole right there. Stick that in there, it'll turn green, set it down, give it a few seconds, it'll find it, it'll initialize it, go ahead and set it up, and Bob's your uncle. So um, from there, you have it connected to your hub. So here's what we're gonna do. It. We already got our little, boom here, we already got our little screen share saying, hey, Alexa has found this device. So we've already shared it through Hubitat with Alexa. Um, next thing we wanna do is we wanna set up a routine. So, let's uh, let you guys see how that goes. So you open up your little handy dandy uh, Alexa app. And you want to go in and you want to stop saying her name. And you want to create a new routine. Uh, routine name will be... happens so it's gonna be our smart home bedroom motion contact sensor is open that's that's for this one uh, basically the contact sensor is open anytime we want to change that we want that to be from 12 a.m. to we're typically up or five, so we say we we'll say six a.m. Uh, just to give him some type of light every day of the week. And then I like to put a suppression on it, so just in case, okay, he gets up, it sets off the motion alert. He might just go to the bathroom, come back, get back in his bed. We don't need it to keep uh, going for that, so. That shouldn't take them more than 15 minutes. So I would suppress this for 15 minutes or so. So what that does is that suppression, it it stops any other triggers from happening. So um, from there, it'll just uh, not detect any motion or it won't do anything. This routine won't run for 15 minutes after the first trigger has done. So after 15 minutes, the clock resets. So now if it's swans any other motion, it reruns the same routine. So we'll, probably what we'll do just for this example, is we'll do an, another, um, if the motion doesn't detect anything for 20 minutes, turn the lights back off. Cause I mean, he's gotten back in the bed and going back to sleep. So um, hit next, we want his lamp to come on. But we're not gonna do that right now because it is 11.15 at night. We're going to use the tester. We want that thing to come on. Power on. Power level. We're gonna set this thing full blindness. So <laughs> if it feels, if it sees something, oh, you know what? We can't demonstrate it because it's not 12 o'clock yet. So let's go back in this routine. And with night motion, let's dial this back to 11. Bedroom 
motion closes. Bedroom motion opens. There it is. Huh. Probably help. Well, it came on. Bam. So, we know it works. Lights are full brightness. So, um, that's a quick and easy good one how to get started with your motion sensors around the home, guys. And I hope you like this video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Like, share, and subscribe to this thing. You know, let's get it done. Let's get it cracking. And you can have more, more fun doing things you love and love the things you do around the home. So, take control of your life, guys. Take control of your lights, too. All right. We out of here. Peace.